So in this video, we're going to be finishing off the post functionality on our profile page. So at the minute, when we click on new post, we can type in our post and then we can choose an image to upload. But at the minute, if I upload an image, I'm going to get an error. So I've attached an image. I'm going to click post and you can see we get this error. So that error is really easy to fix. All we have to do is go into our text editor and we just have to open up the post class scroll down and on this line line 52 as it says in the error line 52 on the post class it says the number of bound variables does not match the number of tokens and what that means in our query we have this variable and we have this variable and we have an array here and you can see this array has three items in it and it only has two variables to bind to so what we're going to do is just delete the last item i don't know why that's there it shouldn't be and if we save that and now we refresh the page you can see that's taking a lot longer because it uploaded our image and it created our post. Now if I refresh our database table, you can see there is our new post. But as you can see, the image isn't being displayed because at the moment we're retrieving our post data from our API and our API isn't returning a row for the image. So to fix that, we have to go into the API and we want to modify profile posts. We also want to modify the original posts because they are exactly the same in this regard. And on profile posts, what we want to do is in our response, we want to add another row, post image. And you can see in our database table, the column is called post image. So we just want to say post image and we can copy that and paste it up here for the other post function. And before we go, what we have to do is scroll up here and we have to select the post image column from the database. So we're just going to say select posts dot post image. And we have to do that down here as well. Posts dot post image. Now back on the profile page, we're going to scroll down to our JavaScript. And here is where we're calling the API and we're passing in our username and getting a list of posts. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the image below the post body. So to do that, we're just going to go in here after the closing paragraph tag. And we're going to say image source equals posts index dot post image. So now if we save that and we refresh, you can see here is our post with the image. It's massive at the moment. Here's another post I did earlier and you can see here are all of our other posts. So this doesn't look ideal. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix this. So what we're going to do to fix this is we're actually going to delete that image and we're just going to go in here and say if, if posts index dot post image equals nothing, which means it's empty, which means no image was returned. Then we're going to run that code. Otherwise, we're going to run the modified version. So in this modified section, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll across to this closing paragraph tag and we're going to add our image element, but we're not going to give it a source. We're going to give it a class of post image and we're going to give it an ID, which is going to be equal to posts index dot post ID. So those IDs have already been used. So what we're going to do is we're just going to prepend the word image. And we just want to make sure that we put the pluses in there to make sure we don't get a syntax error. And now what we're going to do after all this code runs, which is actually outside of this block here, down here, what we're going to do is we're going to load the images in. And what we want to do is target the post image class. So to do that, we just say dot post image dot each. And for each post with an image, we're just going to run this function. And this function is going to load those images in. So all we have to do is say this dot source equals, and we can set the image source by going up here. And on the image, we can say data temp source equals posts index dot post image. And then we can scroll down to the bottom where our function is this dot source equals and we'll use the jQuery selector because that way we can use this jQuery function, which is the ATTR function and we can target data temp source. So that should take the image source from the temp source attribute and it will place it into the image source attribute, which will load it onto the page. So if we refresh now, you can see now we get the images loaded. But if I go to the network tab and I refresh, the images got loaded after everything else. So the reason we want to do that is because if we have a lot of posts with a lot of images and we scroll down, you can see that by loading the images this way, they're loaded after the page, which means the page should load relatively quickly. And then the extra images can be loaded in the background. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're also going to add that class, which is post image. So to do that, we're just going to go to our style styles.css. We'll scroll down to the bottom and we'll just say dot post image. And we'll set opacity. It's going to be zero by default. And then we're going to add a transition, which should make the images fade in. So to do that, we'll say transition. We'll set all two seconds and we'll set ease out. 
So now our image will be invisible because our opacity will be zero. But when we set the opacity to one, the image will fade in and it will take two seconds to appear. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for the image to be loaded and then we're going to change its opacity to one and that would make the image fade in. So to do that, all we have to do is say this.onload and we say that equals a function. So we run the function and inside the function we just say this dot style dot opacity equals one. And while we're at it, we're also gonna modify the width of the image, so we'll say width 100% so that we don't get those massive images. So what we're gonna do is refresh and try that out. Refresh. And there you can see our two images have displayed in our posts and they're being loaded from Imager. If I just drag this up here, you can see it takes us to Imager. And you can see our page still loads extremely quickly even with these images on it. So we're gonna try and upload an image now. So we're just gonna say test image post. So there's the thumbnail of the Redis video. I'm gonna click post. So it uploaded our image to Imager and then you can see there is our text, there is our image and we can like it and do whatever we want. And of course resizing the window, everything looks as you would expect it to look. Uh, the reason these tabs are open is because this is just a link to the Imager API and if anyone's having trouble with their tokens and their access, you wanna have a look at these refresh tokens. All you wanna do is go to this URL with your refresh token and your client ID, your client secret and you just say refresh token is your grant type and then you'll get a new access token and you shouldn't have any problems uploading images to Imager. But that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Reddit. As always, if you have any questions, don't forget to email me at francis.hotco.org. But that's it for this video and I'll see you next time.